Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our next uh, iteration of our artist series from the exhibition Alien Nations 2020, uh, or a collaboration between the Coral Gables Museum and the Lehman College Art Gallery. Uh, my name is Bartholomew Bland. I'm the executive director of the Lehman College Art Gallery. Uh, and I'm very excited to be joined by one of the premier artists in the exhibition today, uh, Mr. Lou Bolin, and uh, our translator for uh, today's session, uh, Ms. Ruby Wu. Uh, it's very good to see you today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, before we start, I just wanted to give a little bit of uh, background about Mr. Lou. Uh, Lou Bolin was born uh, in 1973, so we're actually the same age, uh, in Shandong, China. He received his BA from Shandong College of the Arts in 1995 and his MA from the Central Academy of Fine Arts in 2001. Lou Bolin currently resides and works in Beijing, China. His art be career began in the early 1990s when China emerged from the effects of the Cultural Revolution and began its rapid economic growth and ascent. Uh, in Mr. Bol uh, Mr. Liu's most famous series, Hiding in the Cid City, which is nicknamed the Invisible Man, he paints himself to blend into backgrounds. Uh, and that the series, um, the Hiding in the City, is what's represented in Alienations 2020. We have two examples of that work, Bulldozer and Infowall, uh, Info which are in the exhibition. Um, uh, Mr. Liu, perhaps you could start by talking to me a little bit and uh, about uh, how you would describe your work and your practice as an artist. Uh,刘老师,就是他想问一下,就是你如何形容你的作品,你的艺术,还有你的这个行为。我觉得,呃,其实用一句话很难讲,我觉得用叫三P,三个P,P哪头了,第一个叫performance。第三个叫photographer,我觉得这三个叫三P,其实就很能代表我这个作品的一种一种综合的一个状态。刘柏林, he uses the three P's to describe his art and practice, which is performance, painting, and the photographer. Uh, photography, and he thinks this 3P can represent the form and the content of his art. Um, how has your uh, practice been changed since the pandemic uh, and the coronavirus? Have you been working smaller or at home? Um. <coughs> 其实是这样哈，其实，在没有疫情的时候，我属于在世界各地跑，就相当于就没有更多的这个这种精力或者更多的时间放在自己的呃工作室里面。其实通过疫情，从去年的这个时间点，就去年的基本上春节啊，正是
，中国就是艺术呢，就是中国 contemporary art 是作为一个中心啊，成了一种中国的一种对外形象。So it was before the 2008 Olympics, and the China has attracted the 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 attention of the world, and also the、uh, Chinese contemporary art also has become a the、uh, kind of represent the China's、uh, look to the world. Ah, 那时候很多中国艺术家，因为在中国做艺术其实挺难的，因为在此之前没有艺术市场。<咳>像我们这些人就可能就没有机会去赚赚钱啊，没有机会去卖作品啊，去展览作品啊。但是呢，因为奥运会的临近，就从二零零三年、二零零四年到二零零五年开始，就有很多就就有慢慢的有一些就是就是叫当代艺术的展览，就慢慢的在北京在七九八慢慢的就兴起了。So before the Olympics, the artists were difficult to earn money to get their works exhibited, especially for contemporary Chi-、uh, Chinese artists. So because of the coming of、uh, Beijing Olympics, they had a chance to exhibit contemporary art in Beijing and in the seven nine eight the art zone. Hmm. That so, you know, we that time, just 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 like, really like, 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 啊，那时候正好是 Made in China 的一个时代，中国艺术家也真是像那时候有了工作室，开始有工作室，开始有展览，开始有销销售作品什么的。那我们每个人都好像觉得梦想就要实现了，但是呢，就是我们的工作室呢，就是在刚刚住进去的时候就被拆了，所以所以呢，那时候就是相当于属于你的梦想还没有实现的时候，就相当于遇到一个巨大的另外一个阻碍，来自于官方的阻碍。<笑> So, like the economics, the art,、uh, Liu Bening thought the art was booming at the time. So they got a chance to sell in art and、uh, to realize their dream in art. However, his studio was torn down by the government. So he felt like he had the、uh, the obstacle from the official to、uh, that stops him from realizing his dream in art. I, so I remember from reading your New York Times interview. Uh, that this was in protest to、uh, the artist village being torn down. Is that correct? Yeah, the artist village being torn down. Uh, 就是他有读您的在那个《纽约时报》上的报道，然后他想问是不是这次就是一个关于艺术家村里面的这个反抗？对，对，就对对对，就是就刚才我说了之前那么多，就是做一个铺垫。Yeah. 工作室被拆了，然后表表表达一个反抗，就是他帮我补充的。Yeah, <笑> yeah that that's all the like the pre-story of the the protest. Ah,、uh, yes, the pre-story of the protest. <笑> yeah. Is there an artist village that you're working in now? Is there an artist community? What is that like now? Has it been transformed? 呃、uh, ，您现在工作地方是一个艺术家村的形式吗？就现在还有没有这种艺术家群体群落？有，北京现在还有，只不过怎么讲，比在十年前或十五年前就更离偏离中心了啊，不是，嗯。Yeah, there is still. 离中心更远了。Yes, there is still others village, but compared to the one ten years ago, it is like more distance from the the city center. 嗯、mm. ，the uh in uh the United States. Artists are often viewed as an economic engine for gentrification of neighborhoods, of poorer neighborhoods. Does that same effect exist in China? Um, 就是在美国，呃，艺术家村经常被视为一种就是拿来迸发经济，然后让城市变得更好看的这种一种改城市改造方式。然后这种情况在中国也是一样的吗？ Mm. 嗯，有官方主导的这种所谓文化创意园的方式，有也是有的。嗯 ，Yes, there is. It it's of often led by the、uh, government, by the official, in the form of the so-called creative park, creative zone. So it would be a more、um, a controlled, a designated area as opposed to something. That emerges organically. So, he said, he wants to ask, is this a 
就是已经规划好的一种，嗯，创意园，还是说它就是自己萌生起来的一种有机的群落呢？嗯，其实两种形式现在现在在在中国，在北京啊，呃，在北上广其实都是叫。并有的，因为官方也在做他们的一些形象啊，我们呢也更更多更像是一种自发的。嗯、so, uh, the two forms of the artist village both exist in major cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou. But you know, the official wants to control the look, so they sometimes will um will do something to the artist village, but also artist village will come up simultaneously. Very, very good.、Um, I'm wondering because、uh, our viewers in Miami、uh, and in New York who are looking at this、um, exhibition,、uh, can you tell us a little bit about your memories of making those two specific works, Bulldozer and Info Wall? Ah, he wants to ask about your memories of making those two specific works, Bulldozer and Info Wall. Ah, he wants to ask about your memories of making those two specific works, Bulldozer and Info Wall. 我想知道现在整数是哪两张、啊？一个是那个，就是拖拉机、推土机的那一个。啊、uh, ，What's the other work other than the bulldozer? Ah,、uh, information wall. 然后另一件是那个信息墙。信息墙，嗯，我知道了，嗯，嗯，嗯因为推土机其实是是我小时候的记忆吧，更像是因为那时候经。就是在建设、在建设呀、重新规划过程中，在一个建筑或者一个规划、一个一个一个道路在重新规划的时候，它就会有用那个推土机先把那个形状先做出来啊。这个其实是是属于我个人的一个记忆，甚至说中国的一个发展的记忆。你先说。Okay, so for the bulldozer, this is the childhood memory for Liu Bolin, because you know during that time there is a Intense urbanization and many new buildings, new roads were under construction. So you know,、uh, the the workers will use a bulldozer to kind of create a form before er everything is、um, being constructed. So it's kind of reflect the development of China. 嗯，另外一张呢叫信息墙啊，就是在就是我们这个手机这些软件儿。这个，比如这个以以前哈，就是比如说你租房啊，找工作呀，嗯、呃，就是会有那么专门有一个地方是会会给你去张贴，比如说我找工作啊，找保姆啊，找这个房子呀、啊，我去租房啊。其实，在北京这样的城市，其实这种流动人口比较多的地方，你经常会遇到这样的地方。其实现在没有了，因为现在都用手机软件给替代了，嗯。So before we are using the apps on phone,、uh, when when we used to have to rent to find a job to get a babysitter, there is a special place、um, to find all this information. So which is the information wall wants to、uh. reflect, you know. So it, so the the information wall used to exist in Beijing, but now、oh, which is the、uh. place for people? Yeah. For for people to get the information, you know. So, but now we are all using the phone apps. The digital, so that's disappeared entirely. Yeah, yeah. Interesting.、Um, can you tell us a little bit about the process of making、uh, the Invisible Man series? How did you technically go about doing it? Were you painting yourself before? Uh, were you studying the? Did, were you studying the location carefully? What's the what is the tech? How did you manage it technically? 就是他想问一下您创作这个隐形人时候的技术方面的问题，就是这个过程是什么样的，然后这个技术是什么样的，然后这个比如说他们在您身上作画，然后或者是在您进行拍摄之前，你是否会对这个场地进行比较仔细的研究？嗯嗯嗯，因为其实从我的作品来讲，其实。原则上来讲啊，其实我可以隐身在任何地方，好像有一个背景，只要我往前一站，往后把身上画的跟背景一样的颜色就就是一个作品。但其实来讲呢，其实每一件作品都是经过我的仔细的一些叫考量，因为
，我得搞清楚我我消自己身体消失的一个意义啊。我我其实不是太允许自己一点不做那些没有意义的事情。So technically, uh, Liu says that he can dis disappear in any place, but he will carefully stud study the location. <coughs> he wants to he wants the location to show some meaning in it. 然后呢，其实我首先要选好一个地址啊。一般这个地址要选择的话，<coughs> 会牵扯到会一些，比如说中国的发展呀、文化呀，嗯、呃、嗯<coughs>、呃，这种怎么说？嗯，会。会把这个背景背后的意义在作品中给给体现出来。So the first step, he will choose the location that is often associated with the development in China, with the culture, and because、uh, he wants the meaning behind to of the place to reflect in his work. 呃，一旦这个背景选择好以后呢，就会嗯，就会。就会怎么讲？就会选择一个比较好的天比如说，嗯，没有太大的太阳，也没有太什么风啊、雨啊啊，比较好的一个天，<咳>去就是有有因为我有团队嘛，有有助理去画画了、照相的，甚至说有开车的，<咳>去那就去这儿，然后基本上有一天完成这个工作。我的工作就是那个模特啊，我会<咳>安排好每个人的工作，他们呢就会按部就班的在我身上，比如说。尽量快的把颜色画好，然后呢，我呢就尽量的不动，去配合他们的绘绘画。同时呢，我也会嗯指导他们啊，怎么样能够更更快啊，更准确的把那个颜色给还原出来。So after the background is um is determined, and、uh, Liu Boling and his team will choose a a good weather. Which means no big sunshine, no wind, no no rain, and he will has he will have his team with his assistance to do the painting and the photography, and basically he will the the team will finish the work in in one day, and、uh, for Liu Bolin he will be the model and、uh, arrange all the things and to give instructions to the painter how to. Make the color more accurate, and yeah, and how to do the job as quick as possible. And all he has to do, other than this, is to kind of stay still, and、uh, to make sure that everything goes smoothly. That's interesting. And do you do digital retouching to smooth it out, or will you not do? Will you not?、Uh, will you not do that? 呃、uh, ，就是你会用后期编辑来让这个照片看起来更，就是更好看一些吗？呃，原则上我不会用用怎么讲，用电脑，因为其实用 Photoshop 其实并不是很难哈。但是我原则上不会用电脑去处理啊。但是有一些特殊情况也会遇遇到，比如说我拍那个，嗯、呃、，Supermatic 的时候，就是因为它又很长。不是 target 的时候啊 ，target 的系列就很长，我就会分开把背景拍好，然后再用在电脑把那个呃背景在电脑里合起来。其实会用到一些，但是呢，身体的绘画这部部分几乎不会用，百分之九十九不会用。So he prefer not to use the digital retouching. So because he says that I、uh, I know. He says that Photoshop is not that difficult, but he prefer not to use it. It's、uh, except some special under some special situations. For example, while he was doing the Target series and the Supermatic series, because he has a very long background, and he will use the Photoshop to kind of combine the、uh, yeah, pictures、perfect. together instead of kind of retouching the. The painting on the model or on himself. So for the paintings, there's no digital retouching. There's no digital retouching.、Um, I know you did the Invisible Man series over a series of, of a number of years. Do you envision returning to that subject matter, or have you? Do you feel like you've concluded that chapter of your work? 嗯、呃，就是您的这个隐形人系列已经做了很多年了，就是他想问你之后会不会再继续回到这个系列中，或者说这个系列已经是算完成了的
，就像，其实我觉得我的作品里边很重要的是要记录记录了人的发展。其实我之前记录的，比如说中国的发展哈，很多背景现在<咳>已经没有了。其实我未来来讲呢，嗯，我还会做一些，只是现在因为在北京啊，嗯，就是怎么讲，就是。就是因为有疫情的原因，也不方便到处走，不会做这些东西。未来来讲，我觉得我还会持续的去去做呃这个系列作品，因为同时也在这个系列上呢，发展出其他的一些作品啊，比如说像 Target， 比如说像 Hike Series， 所以我还会持续的做，因为我也没有别的工作，这也是我我能够能够能够展现自己的一种方式嘛。So um, he will continue to do the Invisible Man series because he wants to record the development. And before he was doing the recording, the development of China, and now many background in that series has gone. But he will continue to do this series. But for now, because of the COVID situation in Beijing, and he cannot go around uh, very often. But he will do the. He will continue this series in the future because he don't have other jobs right now, and he wants to. Uh, this series has kind of become his identity, and he wants it to show himself in in the invisible Invisible Man series. Wonderful. Um, could you uh envision yourself coming to the United States and working on a, an Invisible Man series? Um, uh, the theme of the exhibition uh, is 2020 was a very difficult year globally, uh, and I was wondering whether you um, uh, stay. Uh, do you follow the details of American politics and the struggles that we've been having in the past? Uh, in the in the past year here, do you have a reflection on that? Um, because this exhibition's theme is about 2020. It's a very difficult year for the world. For the world, it's a very difficult year for the world. For the world, it's a very difficult year for the world. 工作，然后继续创作这个，在美国继续创作这个隐形人系列。然后还有就是，您有没有关注美国去年这一年发生的政治上的一些波动？我当然关注，我一直关注美国大选。<笑> so, uh, Liu Liu Bolin has been following the election last year. Uh, 他支持拜登，你支持拜登还是这个 Trump？ Uh, so he want to ask, do you support Trump or Biden? Uh, I support I, I support Biden. Um, uh, but uh, I'm actually speaking to you uh, from uh, uh, South Florida mm -hmm. um, in an area that was very contested uh, during uh, the election. So there's a very uh, a split political um, tension, mm -hmm. certainly that is is very evident in the country. Uh, and I think that we have a lot of work to uh, bring the country back together again. We certainly saw that with the storming of the Capitol, which was very frightening um, to our political situation. Because he is now in Florida, and at the time of the election, it was a very loud state. 选民比较分裂，然后，然后我们也看到了当时那个国会山的暴动，所以现在这个国家还是处于一个比较分裂的状态。然后他也比较期待以后看到民众能够团结起来。嗯嗯嗯 ，agree agree。嗯 ，what a uh as a as a final question. I'm wondering, uh, what do you see for uh, your your artistic future? What do you want 2021 uh, to bring you for your work? Uh, the last question, he wants to ask about your artistic future. How do you see your 2021 year? What is it going to be like? What is it going to be like for your artistic future? Because I think, from my observation, um, actually, human beings. 其实正在迎接一个新的纪元啊，就是所所谓用用用用神性，或者用意识
或者去去面对现实的一个纪元。就是之前的人类是可能还充满了一些谎言啊、欺诈呀、啊，可能未来。经过好多好多事情以后，我觉得新人类是没有这些东西的。我现在已经开始尝试用我的方法啊，去为未来进行一些创作。Okay, so based on Liu Bulin's vision, he see he sees a new era coming in 2021, um, in which that. The people will have more divinity and consciousness, but before that,、um, there were lies full of、uh, in our life. But for the new generation of human, there will there will be no lies. And he has been using his method to create some works based on the vision of、uh, the future he envisions. That's a very positive,、uh, uplifting,、uh, uplifting statement. That's a, a wonderful thing. I, I, yes, I want to tell you how much I admire、uh, your work as an artist.、Uh, we were very happy for you to be in the exhibition.、Um, it's very、Thank、moving,、you. very moving work. And、um, I've never, I've never been to China, but I'm hoping. When all of the COVID is over, it's the number one place I want to visit. So、uh, perhaps I will get to see your studio one day. Um, he said this is welcome, 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 <laughs> welcome China, welcome to my studio、oh, one day. Thank after you. After the after the COVID,、uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of will, you, will you come back to the states? Will you come? Ah, you will come to the United States? 我觉得会一定会的，因为我之前我就是到处飞的一个生活。嗯，我肯我其实，在之前的很多年里面，过去的十年里面，在美国，在纽约啊，在华盛顿啊，在也在迈阿密做过很多作品。我在迈阿密应该是至少做了两件作品。呃、uh, ，definitely he will come back to the states because he has been traveling, uh, all the past ten years, and he's he has been. Staying in the New York City, in the Washington D.C. and the Miami, and oh Miami, has, yeah, 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 he has created at least two works in Miami. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I know it's uh, it's uh, what is it? Oh, ten thirty uh, night. Yeah, ten、uh, thirty. And uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm an artist. I always work. I was thinking. <laughs> Don't worry that. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. We will look forward to seeing your new work, and we'll either see you in Miami or Beijing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Very kind. Thank, thank you. Ruby, thank bye you. bye. Thank you. Ruby, thank you very much for. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.